Master Chow Jin Chow, Shish Pizza Games here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Platinum Galactic Lock. In the last episode, we started taking on the Elite Four. We beat Aaron and we beat Bertha and we stole Bertha's Toxic Rogue. And in today's episode, we're going to go on to face Flint and Lucian and possibly steal their Pokemon too. So let's get on with this already. My team is as follows. We have Baller, level 70, holding the Earth Plate, uh, with the moves Rock Climb, Head Smash, Rock Throw, and Earthquake. Then we have Windows 3.1, level 70, with Psybeam Discharge, Tri Attack, and Signal Beam. Then we have RKO, the RK9, with Secret Power, Fire Fang, Crab Hammer, and Extreme Speed. Then we have Winter, level 70, with Fly, Flamethrower, Ice Beam, and Draco Media. Then we have Fred, level 70, with Blast Burn, Mega Drain, Magical Leaf, and Air Cutter. And we have Law, level 70, with Strength, Drill Peck, Close Combat, and Barrier. Let's do this. Okay, before we go in... Oh, it didn't work. Never mind. Sorry about that, guys. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Anyway, here is Flint. Let's go. Yo, trainer! I've been counting the days on my fingers waiting for you to come. I heard that you beat Fault. I heard what you from Faulkner what you did in Sunny Shore City. You managed to light a fire in that guy's heart. How could you not expect me to look forward to seeing you in battle? I'm getting... F You're facing fire type user in me. Let's Flint see how hot your spirit burns. Alright, Flint. Starts with a Crawdunt. That's not good for Baller. Go, Fred. You take that, right, Fred? You do, but it did do quite a bit of damage. I will admit that. Let's see what uh, we can do with Magical Leaf. Nice. And a Gardevoir. Don't really have too much to deal, I guess. Maybe Windows 3.1 with Signal Beam is my best way to deal with Gardevoir. Yeah. Raise Special Attack. Oh, I'll download Raised Attack. In prison. I don't know anything you know. I mean, you shouldn't know Psybeam at this level, so I don't see why you would. Yeah, you missed your Hypnosis. All right. Apparently, Z-Hypnosis is quite OP in 7th Gen. I haven't really tried it out for myself to notice that, but, like, from what I've heard, Z-Hypnosis is pretty good. And a Wool Rain. Well, I should stay in them because it should carry Ice-type moves, and that would not help with other Pokemon that can't deal with Ice-type moves. Like, for example, Fred. Okay, and that did about half. Again, War Rain seems to like to hit blizzards, even though it shouldn't be hitting blizzards because there's no hail in place. Oh my god, the freeze! The freeze! Okay, now I have to switch. Go, Law! And the rest. Damn. Well, if you're going to rest, I'm going to set up a barrier. Snore. Yeah, your rest does nothing to me. And I'm going to just set up another barrier here. Ah, 
And Snore again. Okay, so I'm plus two defense. And let's go for close combat. I'm about to go down to um, plus one defense because of the special defense drop from close combat here, but that's fine. There goes my defense. There goes my uh, special defense. And there goes the War Rain. Leafeon coming in. Can I drill peck? Sunny day. Okay, you can get that one certain solar beam off now, I guess, maybe. But, like, I don't really care. I mean, I'm especially defensive enough to take it. Grass Whistle. Yeah, that 55% accuracy is coming in rather usefulness for me rather well because you can't hit a Grass Whistle, you can't hit a Hypnosis. I crit you with a Drill Peck and you're dead. What's your final Pokemon? A Tauros. Um... Let's try this. Oh, you have Swagger. That could be kind of annoying. Unless Law decides to say, nope, I don't really care. Frash. I snap out confusion. I... Deal with you really nicely. You're going to heal this turn, I can tell. Oh, wait, you can't heal. You're locked in. You use Frash. Oh, I honestly thought I had you. Just keep on walling him. His su the sun has faded. Uh, he's going to full restore this turn, which will get rid of his confusion. There's his full restore. Gets rid of his flat. Uh, gets rid of his flash confusion, and of course does uh, get his HP back up to full as well. Well, I'm still plus one, so I'm gonna drill peck you again. Oh, you missed your takedown. I can wall this. I've walled it before. And apparently I crit you too. I wasn't expecting the crit. I'll take it. Good work, Law. Good way to show that you, uh... Good way to show that you're on the team. Woo! Burnt me down to cinders. Did I buy four restores? I did buy four restores. Cool. There we go. Okay, let's do this. Let's go and face Lucian now. And let's see if we can get this... Uh, this character sprite modding working. Yeah, I've got it working... Okay, cool. Let's start this. Ah, you timed your arrival well. You see, I've just finished a book I was reading. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Lucian, the user of psychic types. I must say, you've already proven yourself to be outstanding by coming this far. They say I'm the toughest of the Elite Four. I'm afraid I'm going to have to go all out against you to uh, live up to that reputation. 
then please do go all out against me to live up to that reputation. You start with a Gurbis. If he starts, I must say, if he start from you there, uh, Lucian. The only Pokemon I haven't used yet is RKO. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to use RKO. We'll have to wait and see. I need something that's like not. Uh, we'll let's see. I need something that uh, RKO can deal with. A Zatu. I'd like to throw, I could throw a rock at you, but I could also just discharge and see what happens. Power swap. Does that mean I'm going to have really, uh, really bad special attack and you're possibly going to live this now because of the power swap? Yeah, that's exactly what that means. And you uh, take my, and you took the uh, boost I got from download too. A Nido Queen! Wow! You predicted me really well there. I mean, it's a good thing I'm a special defensive monster, so I can take this. And I have Psybeam, so I can just switch up moves in this situation. But, you know, nice prediction. Do you have a dark type that you can switch into so you could resist my Psybeams? Because I can take these Earth Powers all day. It's a shame you can't take these Psybeams all day. Well, that's Healing Rage. And there it is, the healing. The healing that I said was going to come has actually came. Can I crit you a Psybeam? That would be pretty cool if I could crit you a Psybeam. Can I crit you a Psybeam? What's the point? Porygon, why do you not learn Psychic? Now you've learned Psybeam. I like Psybeam. Oh, wow. You can crit me, but I can't crit you. Doesn't seem fair, does it? Well, I believe you should heal here and take your second healing potion. So I'm going to take my first healing potion. A hyper potion for, uh, for Windows 3.1 here. I believe you're going to take a full restore. Oh, you're not taking a full restore. I honestly thought you might take a full restore here. Because usually Elite Four members have two. Yeah, usually Elite Four members have two. Po uh, have two. Wow, you have superpower! Windows 3.1, if you'd live here, I'd be liking... Thank you, thank you, Windows 3.1. Okay, I wasn't expecting you to have superpower. A golem. Don't we have a lot for Gollum? Let's go to Law. Okay, Law. Time to fight the Gollum. Can you fight the Law and the. You fought the Law? And the Law won. You fought the law, and the law won. Law wins. Um. Well, I'm going to go into winter this time to deal with the um, incoming Zatu. Winter, you're a special defensive monster. You can take this. 
even a crit didn't even do half to me. And this uh, icicle bait boosted stab ice beam. Do I need to say more good things about ice beam? Because I don't. Executor. Don't really have too much to deal with you, especially if I'm going to try and catch you, but I can give it a try. I'm going to stay in. Now, Executor, if you wouldn't mind living the flamethrower. It's a resisted hit. It well, it's not it's not stab. It's not stab. It's a crit. I possibly could have lived. It possibly could have lived. We'll never know now. I see. Congratulations, you have beaten all the Elite Four. However, that doesn't mean you're done with the Pokemon League. There, there remains a champion. I should warn you, the champion is the far stronger than the Elite Four. Now go on, step through that final doorway and uh, take on your final battle. I will, in the next episode. Because that's how this series works. I want to do... Th if I'm going to do... If I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this right. And end the series off. And possibly start... Uh, you know, end the series on the... Uh, well, may end the main part of this series on Friday. Where that's where it should end. Because that's the end of the week. Really? Also, people will want to watch and see what happens. Anyway, so, if you enjoyed today's episode, you can leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you're on YouTube, if you're on Vidme, you can leave an upvote, you can follow the channel. And, of course, you can leave a comment over there as well. There will be no like goal for this episode because the fact is there's really no need. We're going to face a champion next episode, and that's basically all we're going to do. So, there's really no need for that. If we do need to, if we do do after game, you'll see it on next Monday's episode. You know that's how it'll work. Anyway, also if you wouldn't mind sending me some eggs for my Fire Red Omega Egglock, the link will be down in the description below to the send me eggs video. It will tell you exactly how to do it. Just watch all the video and you'll find out exactly how to do it. So please send me some eggs. It would be really good if you sent me some eggs. Also follow me on Twitch. I am. Twitch.tv forward slash JSPH games over there. I'm going to be doing some streams very, very soon in the next couple of weeks. We have some Saturday Night Showdown battles. And the series like that's call Saturday Night Showdown. And of course, August 22nd is the Pokemon Y Sleep Lock. Join us for that day, August 22nd at midnight for the Pokemon Y Sleep Lock. It's going to be absolutely amazing. We'll be going all day on August 23rd for that sleep lock and it's gonna be absolutely amazing i may even have some guest commentators coming in to do uh, to keep me sane as well because it's a sleep lock if i fall asleep i lose so i might need some guest commentators to keep me sane so we'll honestly see what happens there and if this sleep lock goes well uh november 14th we might do a sun sleep lock too so until next time i'm just beach games and i am out see you again